Hey guys, Figurecraft here, and today we have a pretty exciting day. I was not expecting this in the mail today, but I heard the mailboy run, and all of a sudden I know I'll go and I find a package on my porch, but I was not expecting the mail to run today because of Columbus Day. But, uh, happy Columbus Day, uh, everybody, and, um, yeah, we got Titanic shipment 4. So, let's just go ahead and get her open there we go now I do know we got our uh, first gift in here our um, our metal uh, tin poster is in here what's that Oh, we got our screwdriver set. We actually got our screwdriver set. I thought we were supposed to get the tin poster. Well, this is better than nothing. This will actually help me with the screws that I've been encountering. I hadn't had the right screwdriver for some screws. But now we do. Yeah, we got our screwdriver set. Look at that. Oh, this is exciting. Has a code at the back of it. Tells you what it's for. So we, we got our screwdriver set. That's awesome. Uh, I know our books are in here somewhere. Okay. We should have from uh, 15 to 20. <laughs> so there's issue 15. And how far we'll be. There's 16. Oh, this is awesome. There's 17. 2nd funnel. And there's 18. There's 19. There's 20. We got the 10 poster too? We did. Oh, this is cool. We actually got the screwdriver set and the 10 poster. That's two gifts in one. Praise the Lord for that. I was wondering when we was going to start getting our gifts. I really hope that we do end up getting a um, a binder. But on the Titanic... Uh, on the Agora Models website, they don't advertise the binder. They just advertise the tin poster, the screwdriver set, and the pocket watch. So I don't know if we'll be getting the, the tin binder or the, the binder or not. This thing is 10. That is awesome. I like that. Go ahead and put it back in here and here's what it says on its box. <clears throat> now we'll go over our boxes that has our parts. First I see a little pack in here. Looks like we got a... Uh, an Allen key and screws and a little note in here. <sighs> Keep extra screws for issue 18. Huh. <sighs> it's got some different languages here. Never seen that before. But we got that. Let's look for our first box. We're looking for 15. That's 16. 18. There's 15. Right there. 15. Uh, 
Let me find my um exact though. I got so excited that I I lost the <laughs> I lost the plate. Oh man. Hang on a minute, y'all. I'm just I'm so excited. I was not expecting this until tomorrow because I seriously thought the mail was not gonna run on Columbus Day. So this is a this is a big surprise. Truly, this is a big surprise to me. I'll have to look these over and see what has to be modified and what doesn't have to be modified. And man, I'm doing good. Where is that blade? Oh, I'm gonna have to find something else, y'all. I lost it. Well, here's something. Mm. I lost the uh, exacto, the not exacto, but the box cutter. But um, I have an exacto blade here. We just gotta be careful with this sucker. This sucker is sharp. See what I mean? Cut through that thing like butter. Let me just set this blade over here to the side of me. That way I don't put my hand on it. That would suck. We'll pull this out. Anything else in there? Okay, that's all that's in this box. So we got a little cardboard piece. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Whoops. There's our lifeboats and a little... uh ventilation system little air vent screws another lifeboat now um i know um these uh lifeboats need lifeboat covers but to tell you the truth you can actually make do with these these right here you can actually make do uh with these lifeboats for another occasion because um i have the book a model maker's manual and if you look here on the ship right here, they do not include this in this hatch room model. I think they forgot them. But there were extra lifeboats hanging off the sides of Titanic that did not have lifeboat covers. They were extra lifeboats. Let me see if I can find the page that shows them. This book has everything. Here we go. It's not there. Where is it? Just give me a few seconds here to find it. Oh, come on. Where is that picture? <sighs> I get close to finding it, but they cut it off. Here we go. Here's an above you. Right here. See? Lifeboat cover. No lifeboat cover. There were two boats added onto that, onto that one davit. And then over here at the same thing. No lifeboat cover. Lifeboat cover. So, you could actually uh, use these two right here for those boats if you wanted to. I don't know if they'll uh, remake them and like, give us some uh, ones with lifeboat covers. Uh don't know or if uh i'm pretty sure somebody in the uh, modern company will make some and then we'll probably purchase some from the modern company that has covers but uh i do like these these are pretty cool so we got those we have a angled head screwdriver in here it's a phillips or a crosshead however you want to call it So we got that, and we have a big, huge metal uh, piece of the hull. You remember that big, huge metal kill piece that we were not able to add in our last shipment? This is why. We needed this first. Now we can add that big old piece, and this is going to add some more weight. 
So we got that. Put those back in there. Put the Allen head right there. Or the angled screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. Keep my stuff in the box to keep it protected until I'm ready to work with it. But um, before uh, any build videos go up, I've got to do some modifications. So, that was box 15. Let's get our blade. And we need to find box 16. Look at that. I almost stabbed my hand. That wouldn't have been good on camera, would it? <laughs> so excited I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. There's 16. Let's see here. Which way do we want to open her? We'll go this way. Let's see what's in. 16. Hey, this feels big. Ah, oh, it's another superstructure. The Grand Staircase Superstructure. There's our wooden deck. It looks like it's already coming off the... See, it's coming off the sticker. That does not bother me because I usually wood glue mine down. So, this uh, coming off the sticker does not bother me. But you have a piece of the wooden deck. We'll just set that back on there until we're ready for it. You have the, um, the Grand Staircase... Um, structure with the gymnasium i think is here you got some uh, detail right there you got some little railings imprinted right here i have to do a few touching up on this with some paint maybe <laughs> but you got that the underneath of it there's like a metal piece there oh, no that's not a metal piece that's a plastic piece with two screws already in it well that's interesting you got some details over here with the vent. You can see you got a ladder there. We'll turn it to the other side. Oh, look at there. Two doors and some more railings. And then some more lights up here. Deck lights. All the detail in the vents. This is cool. You got that. And you also have some more vents. There's a swan neck vent. Uh cowled vents i think they call them and <laughs> i don't know what vent that's called i'll have to look in the book <sighs> but we got that that's in box 16 is that everything in the box yeah that's everything in the box so we'll go ahead and put that in there and close that back up. So we got that one. Now let's look for box 17. <clears throat> I had that thing a minute ago. 18. <clears throat> 19. 17. We'll open it from this end. If I can get to my blade in there. There we go. And you can see right there, there's the number 17. Let's see what we have in box 17. It's kind of stuck in there. Come on. Come on out. Oh, I know what this is. This is the second funnel. Yep. Here's our second funnel. There's the funnel wrap metal. Here is the um the inside of the funnel that the funnel wrap will go on. Basically like that. And then here is your watering tank. <laughs> So we got that. And 
notice some more stuff in here. And then right here we have Oh Lord have mercy. There's what I dread. Those tiny micro screws that goes to the funnel. You know, the tiny ones, the small ones. <laughs> you got them. You have the um the filter, the water filter. The, the stay collar, the inside of the funnel that the um, generator sets in. We don't have the second generator uh, yet that I see of right now. Uh, there's the um, little spring. So we got that. Surely the goodness somewhere in this shipment will have that other generator. So we'll go ahead and we'll set that in there. And we'll set the funnel back in. That's three boxes. Three more to go. Now, we're looking for 18. And I just had 18 a minute ago. I think it's this big one. Yep. This one right here. So, we'll go ahead and break the tape. We have a little one here first. Oh, this is the glass that goes over top of the staircase. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's painted. That's actually engraved in there. I don't know if I can try... I can try to show that. This is engraved. See? See when the light hits it? It's 3D popping out on top. These uh, metal, uh, they're not metal, but uh, you know what I mean. These white bars are 3D printed on top of this plastic. Along with this little thing, that is 3D popping out. All that is 3D popping out. The underneath of it is flat. But, we got that. This is the dome, I can tell from the way it feels in the thing. Yeah, look at that. There's the dome. This is 3D printed on too. All of this texture detail. It's kind of like engraved in the glass but printed on. So it's not printed in the glass. It's printed on the glass. You can actually feel each detail. So we got that. Let's see if I can keep them separated like they were. Fold that one in first. Okay. Then we'll fold this one in next. We'll keep these pieces separate from each other like the way they packed it. So, we got that. There's something big and heavy inside here. I think it's another piece of the whole of the ship. It is. There's screws. Three packs of screws, and here is the big, giant, black metal hole of the ship. Look at them doors and them windows. These windows are actually drilled out. Well, except for when you get right here. These are not drilled out. It looks like... My uh, screw head things are clean. Well, they usually got paint caped in them. It looks like somebody's went through these and actually got the paint out. You can see the silver in there. You can see the threads. That doesn't go the same for up here, though. But I don't know if these need screws or not, or if they just, there's like snaps or something. <sighs> but these down here, you can tell their, uh, their threads are clean. You can see the silver. So, that's pretty awesome. I've never seen that before. Another thing, too, that I didn't show. They actually packed this box inside of a white uh, paper. It was in a white plastic paper thing. It was This box was literally sealed inside of a big paper thing. <laughs> I actually like the way they packaged that, because that made it more safer. That way, if anything fell out of the box, it would be inside that gray paper. The box did come in uh, 
a little crushed, but uh, not too bad. This one was actually pretty good. If I can just get that back in there, we'd be doing good. Come on. There we go. So that's four, five, six, two more boxes to go. Let's look for 19. I think 19, no, that's 20. This one. I love how that blade just cuts through. There's the box number, 19. <laughs> Makes me think of Android 19 from Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know that from my figures on the uh, channel. Alrighty, we have... Oh, wow, look at this, y'all. EP screws. There it is. There's the second generator. And a water pipe. The tops of the funnel. Two packets of ladders and steam whistles and walkways that goes on the funnels. This is like two packets and steam pipes too for each funnel. Here's a bunch of these little steam pipes. These things, I could see these things breaking and being fragile. I'm not going to put these on my boat until the funnels are saying that they're being, you know, screwed to the boat. But uh, I'll probably put them on there for like a, you know, the video for like a, a dry fit, but not pushing them in all the way. But these will not be going on the ship until them funnels are going to be fully attached to the ship and they don't come back off. That's going to be my extra safety precaution. Because I could see them steam pipes breaking in a heartbeat. We have anything else? Yes, we do. Top of the funnel. I can tell from the shape. Yep, there's the top of the funnel, and there's the thing that the um, generator would sit on top of right here. So, yeah. There's the top two air, second funnel. I know this is shipment 4 of Agora Models. Uh, shipment uh, 5 is not due until next month. They take a payment out on me uh, next month. And then after that, we do the waiting time of when they're going to ship it. Hopefully there's no delays. And then the last one. Box 20. Now this is the one I'm most interested in. We're supposed to have our first LED lights in here. I know from watching other people's YouTube videos. I watched John's model making, building with the boys, uh, Chris Creations. There's a lot of them I watch. I like to uh, look ahead to see what I'll be getting myself into. That way I can be prepared and start coming with up with ideas in my head here's a little small piece of decking here's some more vents holy moly look at that little tiny sucker if I can yeah there we go come here look at that little tiny sucker that's that's not as worse though as the air tank that we had in that last one yeah we got a tiny one there we have another one of them curve vents right here. Oh, look at that. Our first photo etch. Uh, these are already painted, but um, I know uh, these skylight ones are incorrect because um, these right here, these have to be painted brown. So we'll paint them brown before we add them to the ship. These stay white. These are correct. It's just those two. Those are goes to the skylights behind the staircase. 
So we'll have to paint those brown. But this is detailed. Wow. I like that. Screws. We got some screws. We have the um, extension cable. And here's what I was interested in. Here's our first set of LED lights. These yellow things that you see here are lights. And then these right here popping up are two lights. But that's going to do it for this uh, box opening uh, review. I mean, we got a lot of surprises in here. I was not expecting this screwdriver set. That is a big bonus to me. I knew the tin plate was going to be in here. But I did not know about the screwdriver set. But until the build video, I will get this stuff up and going and getting it prepped and ready. But you all have a blessed one. And thank you all so much for all of the subscribers that I have gotten so far on my channel. Thank you for all of your kind comments. And I do my best to answer your uh, questions and get back to you. I'm constantly looking on my phone to see if I have any new uh, comments. But I, I try to help out some people uh, too. But um, that's what we're in this for. We're in this model to help each other. Like if there's uh, any help... Any questions that I can give you, uh, any tips of how I go about doing things like what I did on my model, because this is a very challenging model at certain times, I can try to help the best I can and give uh, the best advice that I can give. But in the end, uh, it's your model. You build your model the way that you want to. And just like a thing like building with the boys uh, would say, if you can be anything in this world, uh, just be nice, and we'll see y'all in the next one. You all have a blessed one. And goodbye.